buckle up, boys and girls, because it's about to get messy. You're listening to the Laughing Couple Podcast with your hosts, Brittany and Ryan Ostafi. Join them weekly as they discuss topics such as relationships, kids, sex, parenting, all unfiltered, and all with a healthy dose of laughter. Please welcome your hosts, Brittany and Ryan Ostafi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I feel like you've done that so many times every time. We have you to feel be, like I've done that so many times somewhere. every time? <laughs> We haven't. We're back in Ontario. 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 Uh, I feel like the tan's are already gone. The snow is just like, hey, what you got there? <laughs> you stole that from me. I did not. You were like, I feel like I'm losing my tan. We got off of the plane, and my, I said, mm, my tan's gone. I know. I just made it funnier. This podcast is really going to be a smorgasbord of a charcuterie. A smorgasbord? A smorgasbord and charcuterie of our experiences on our vacation. Just like But this has nothing tips. to do with Florida. No, it's just vacation in general. Yeah, like if you think, so oh yeah, well, I want to hear about Disney. No, no, we're not going to That's not going to be that. that. But we are going to talk some shit. We are. A little bit of shit. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. It? Okay. So <clears throat> we just got back from vacation, as we've alluded to already. You are an incredible human being. You're an incredible partner. We would fail miserably on It's an Amazing Race, the TV show. Not only would we fail, you are not, we would be divorced. You, you, are, you and I are not compatible on vacation when it comes to getting to and from locations. And I will say this. <laughs> I know for a fact that uh, flights are not your thing. They're not your forte. And you're a little bit nervous to fly. And so you and you suppress that fear inside your gut, but you lash out at like the smallest, teeniest things that drive me nuts. Mm-hmm. And I I and I know I'm not I'm not like an ideal traveler. No. I get stressed out about the things that I can't control. Correct. And your emotions are one of the things I can't control and it's it drives me nuts. Together but, it's but a my recipe. actual I love you and you're annoying is on the same plane as that, but slightly different. Um, following directions is not like you're good at so many things. Following directions, like actual directions is not something that you were like amazing at. I disagree. And no, 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 it's true. And um, that's an opinion. Okay. Well, well, you were in charge of the directions to get to and from where we were going, and we got lost every single time. So You were driving. Yeah. Be, I was driving, following the directions you gave me, and we got lost every single time. When we met with your parents, your dad's like, why are you guys late? Well, because we missed the, the cutoff. To be fair, I literally was like, you would be like, oh, we were supposed to tur- turn there. And yes, we missed it, but I'm also managing two of the most annoying small people in the back seat. So we missed a turn. All we would have had to have done was turn around and get back on that turn. But you're so stubborn that we just kept going and, and it rerouted and it rerouted a longer way. Anyways. So. Anyways, if it was amazing race and you didn't have a GPS, like keep in mind, we have a GPS in our hands. That's literally telling you step by step what you have to just reiterate back to me. And we didn't, if you had a map, If your job was to hold a map map. and tell me where to go, oh my God. We would never arrive. We would still be in Florida. We'd still, we'd still literally, we would be lost. I don't really get lost when I'm like with anyone else. It's mostly you. Right. So I think that you're the common denominator. Right. Is that it? Are you done? Yeah. That's my annoying thing. You're not very, like you're directionally challenged. Mm, Okay. Mine is, um, and I've talked about this before because we travel to your parents' place often, and we come home with luggage. Everyone has luggage, and it gets you got thrown. Baggage. It got it gets thrown at the front door, and I'm always the one to pick it up and go through it. Always, yeah. And it happened again, and I've expressed this to you multiple times. For the record, I got my that bag. I don't cool, cool. We have two kids. Right. I'm just letting you know I helped. No, I actually brought your bag upstairs. No, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you did bring it upstairs? Yeah, I brought it up and unpacked it. Anyways, yeah. we have two kids and I did all of their packing and unpacking once again. So that's 
super annoying. You can't say anything about packing because I said I was going to pack and you said, it's honestly, Ryan, don't pack because all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in. I'm going to see all the things that I wanted to put in there. Right. So and I'm going to change it anyway. So, so don't do it. So you can't put packing in okay. for things that are annoying that when I say I'll do them and you say, don't even bother. That if you knew annoying. that, why wouldn't you take everything out? You that's didn't, a, you didn't no, pack. No, that's a valid annoying. Yeah. It's so annoying. That's valid because taking it out requires no energy except for the energy that it takes to take it out. But I agree with you. That's annoying. Good. But you can't say that packing's annoying. Okay. All right. So are, are we done? <laughs> I'm just annoyed right now. Are we done with this? Okay, good. Hey, listen. Great trip. So fun. Great trip. It has been it has been three years since we've been on vacation. It has been a lot with the pandemic. It has been a lot with work. It has been a lot with changes. Ch 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 changes. Our family desperately needed no a vacation changes. and we took an extended vacation and uh, all in all, I would say, you know, great trip. It's easy to like, not easy. Um, we like to kind of give like a rundown after we have a vacation. So we had a four hour drive back to our hotel from my parents' place and we like to kind of go through like all of the things that we did on the vacation because it's very easy to not forget but just be like swept up in the moment and for the kids too to be like what was your favorite part when they're like oh, i don't like they didn't they even remember some of the things that we did at the very beginning so we just it for me the 14 days was packed and i would call this an adventure like a vacation for me is like you go on vacation, you chill out, you relax, you're kind of turning off. For, it, for This was an adventure. I loved every minute of it, but like I need a vacation yeah, from the adventure. But, but here's my question. Did you love every minute of it while you were in no, it? No. God, That's, no. Okay, good. And we'll get into that. Like, Shall we get into that? Should we get into it? Um, first of all, traveling at the airport with two kids. It wasn't even Riley. She's going to be eight this year. It was Cooper. He was like, he was pretty good on the way there. They're just excited, right? But Ryan already, like you already mentioned, we don't, we're not simpatico when we're traveling at the airport. You get really stressed out of things you can't control. I don't like flying. So we are already so like, poke me, see what happens. Like we are not the loveliest parents to be around at the airport. No, so we'll give no, the kid, not. we'll give the kids that. But at the same time, like, I feel like Cooper is just one of those, you know, those wind up toys that you just like wind up and he's like all over the place. That is what I think Cooper is at the airport. I'm like, where the fuck? How is he over there? Like he's, g g g g g he he's just like is. Quagmire. He, no, you know, those little things. <laughs> I know that, exactly. That's that. what he's the like. The teeth, the chatty teeth. I'm like, like looking over here and then I'm like, oh my God, like he's over on someone else's luggage. The problem with Cooper, the problem with Cooper like, oh is that he purposely doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's so true. Like he doesn't. He doesn't. On the way home, we were trying to check in and we're extra stressed because we had to like deal with all this COVID stuff. He's literally trying to get on the baggage belt the that, that takes it out to the airplane. Buddy, buddy on the buddy who's checking us in is like, hey, that's not a toy. And Cooper's like, I don't give a fuck. It's moving and I'm going on it. He, that guy did scare him. Like he almost broke international.